A horrible loss on Halloween leads to an awful Thanksgiving for this mom and son. And it hurts in his heart to keep going. She was forced to choose between burying her son or paying her rent. Welcome to Coin 6 News at 11. I'm Ann State. And I'm Dan Tilkin. A Gresham mom is about to lose her home right after losing her son and almost losing another. Our Chris Holmstrom takes us beyond the headlines tonight. The two brothers were walking home from school when all of a sudden a car just slammed right into them. You can actually see where the car landed and it was just right down the street from where they lived. And it hurts in his heart to keep going. Crystal Davis calls it a bad dream, an unthinkable tragedy no parent should ever go through. You know, life is not supposed to be like this, you know. You don't never supposed to bury your kids. Your kids supposed to bury you. It was Halloween. Her two sons, Jaquise and Jaden, had just gotten off the school bus when police say two cars collided and one veered onto the sidewalk, hitting the brothers. Ten-year-old Jaquise died two days later. Witnesses say because of him, his little brother is still alive. It could have been both of them because how the car came, it would have hit both of them head on, and if one wouldn't have jumped in front of the other one, the one wouldn't have jumped in front of the other, there wouldn't have been no protection for this one. Jaden was sent to OHSU with critical injuries, including two broken legs, a fractured face, bloody eye, and lacerated liver. This is all like his medication bags. Tonight, he's out of the hospital, but still recovering at home. He has no recollection about what happened that day, but says he misses his brother dearly. My favorite things about my brother is that he will never let me down. And I would never let him die. And that's exactly what Jaquise did. Now, the family is also facing financial woes, from funeral to medical cost to a possible eviction. But this mother tells me, through support from loved ones, she manages to stay strong. I couldn't imagine how I would feel to go through everything he has. And if I'm like, if he can get up and go, I know I could get up and go. The family is having a fundraiser next Saturday. They're also accepting donations through their Bank of America account. We'll put all that information on our website, coin.com. Reporting from Gresham, I'm Chris Holmstrom for Coin 6 News. Chris, thank you. And we did check. Court documents say that she is supposed to be in court to face that eviction 11 days from now. We'll be sure to follow up and let you know what happens.